So right now I'm looking for alternatives to Audacity, and this is what I currently use. It's Audacity 3 point something, and I feel like while I'm looking for alternatives and showing you guys what I find, I might as well start with my current workflow, which is in Audacity. And this is it. This is Audacity. I'm pretty sure that it's just default. I don't think that I've moved any widgets or anything like that. The only thing I've changed that you can see, obviously, is the dark theme. And you can set that in preferences under interface options. And I also used to tweak the quality settings, but I never really noticed much of a difference. And some builds of Audacity had problems when you changed the project rate and other stuff. So now I just leave it all default. But yeah, I think that all of the widgets at the top are in their default spots. The only thing I change or touch here is the monitor. Sometimes I have the monitor running. When I'm actually editing a track, I switch between decibels and linear as like the view option because it kind of depends on what I'm editing. If it's open EG stuff, I usually use decibels. But if it's just voice stuff kind of like this, it's just going to be linear. And if I'm mixing or editing audio like this, it's just like a voiceover. I have one track and I basically zoom in and listen to it and cut and paste so I cut out sections that I don't want like dead space or if I say something stupid. I almost always do all of my recordings in one take. I'm really bad, I seem to be really bad at recording multiple pieces of audio and splicing them together. So I just try to sit here and record everything in one shot however long it takes. Now if I'm mixing music it's usually depending on what I'm mixing obviously it's usually multi-track usually between two and three and I either copy a single track or just like record over like overdub the existing track so I have three separate tracks going and then again based on what I'm recording if it's like a heavy guitar track or something I'll line the tracks up or put them slightly out of sync I think they call that wall of sound but I almost always if there's multiple tracks I'll almost always pan the audio so you have more on one side than the other side so that's built right here into the interface and it's super easy to do. It's also probably known for its variety of effects that you can put on your audio. I find most of these are like not good. They either don't do what you expect or they're just really hard to configure and tune and everything. But the effects that I do use are the compressor. I use that in almost every track noise reduction if I have to. I try to avoid it because it can make things sound very robotic. I have used amplify and normalization, but I usually handle all of that through the compressor and then manually adjusting the volume slider on the audio track. And that's it. That's, that's my workflow in what, like four or five minutes or less. So it's very simple. And that's kind of why I feel like a tool like Ardor might not be the best choice because this is such a simple workflow and I can sit down and record something and edit it and I mean this voiceover I can probably do in maybe 10 minutes. Hopefully I can find an Audacity fork like Tenacity is looking pretty good. I'm not going to dive too far into all of the Audacity forks. I'm probably just going to pick one or two and I'll try a couple other editors and at the end I'll kind of summarize my thoughts and let you guys know what I think of all these editors and how they fit with my workflow. But that's it.